Hello everyone, we will continue the topic ALV by CL underscore SALV underscore table class and we are covering PF status and user command. PF status means we will create our own GUI status. We will create our own button or function in that particular GUI status. And then we will go for our own logic onto that. So as a part of that, we created our own function or button in the application toolbar. Now I will enable this back button also because we need to every time go back to the program. So I will enable this back button in the application, in the function keys, sorry because this is the part of your function keys. So I will go to the program. So I will go to the program which we created. And now I will enable this back button also. So that it will be easy for us to go back to the program. I will go to our GUI status. I will go to the function keys and I will enable this back. I will activate this GUI status. I will run. Now, if I will go for execute and you can see back button is also enabled. Now, what is our second part of the requirement? And yes, here, huge amount of learning will come because we have different way to write the logic now. First part of the requirement is over. We created the button in the application toolbar or our function in the application toolbar. Now, user will select a row and whenever user will click on to this button, we need to display that data from VBAP table. During traditional ALV, you simply written the logic in the subroutine of the user command. Now here, how, how I will go for this particular requirement. Again, the knowledge of event topic will play a vital role here because up to this level people will do everything they will create a button in the application toolbar but after that they struggled how how i will go for user command now so what they will do firstly they will go to this particular class clsalv table and they will try to find a method for user command. So they will simply check user command method. Suppose they will go for command method. So there is no user command method available. So but we will achieve same to same requirement through event. That's why I covered the double click event topic first before this so that you will get a clear cut idea. Now, if I will simply, simply go for same to same method, what is the method? Get underscore event. This is the method. It will return us the object of this particular class. If I will double click onto this class, if I will go to the events, now you can see we used double click event. Now you can see we have a event added function. And what it is saying control after execution of application defined function. Yes, we defined or we added the function. We added our own function. So this is the way how you will achieve user command whenever you are going for CL underscore SALV underscore table class. At the initial of this topic, I told you will get huge amount of learning because people will create the button in the application toolbar. 
But after that, this struggle, we are not able to find user command, user command. Simple, you need to go for event, event. Just call the same to same method, get event, and it will go, it will give us the object of a event table class. Previously, we used double click. Now we will go for added underscore function event. Same to same knowledge. We will create a event handler method. Now the event will be added underscore function. We will register the event handler method and we will write the logic into the event handler method. Rest part is same. Yes. And at the last Again, new learnings will come. So firstly, what I will do, I will simply call the method get underscore event. An important learning and interview so many times we ask to check that the person worked on that real time scenario or not. Yes, at that time, because there is no user command available. We have a event and what is the event added underscore function. So what I will do same to same, which we did in double click. Firstly, we will call the method get underscore event. We will get a object of event table class. Then we will go for the event handler method and we will register the event handler method. Now I will go to pattern, same to same thing we did in double click. You can copy paste from double click program also. What is the object of our CLALV, CLSALV table class? Hello underscore ALV1. CL underscore SALV underscore table. Now I will use the method get underscore events. If I will call this method, get underscore event. I will just put dot here. Now I will simply declare a object The type of LO event will be same as that of value. If I will double click and check the type of value, this value is returning as the object. It's an instance which is referring to this class. I will declare data LO underscore events. Now we will get the object of this particular event table class. Now we will simply, simply go for same to same process, which we did in double click. If I will run this particular program, whenever user will select a row, whenever user will select a row, and click on to this button, click on to this button, which event will trigger now added underscore function event will trigger added underscore function event will trigger. Sorry, I told the word function added underscore function event will trigger whenever added underscore function event will trigger who will handle that event event handler method will handle that event so firstly we will create a event handler method for which event added underscore function of that event table class and lastly we will register the event handler method now i will write the logic if during double click also, you did same to same thing. If you remember, we created the event handler method for double click. Now, same way, we will do it for now. Add underscore function. Class. Class 1. Definition. 
and class. You can copy paste from double click program and you can change the name of the event also. I will write public section math class. Suppose name of the method is handler for event. What is the name of the event? I will check into this class itself. Name of the event is added underscore function. Of which particular class? This particular class. Now I will simply create the implementation because we need to write the logic. Method handler add method. Now we will register the event handler method. So I will simply, if you remember during double click, we got the error statement not accessible. Then at that time, I have written the statement start of selection event. At the initial level itself, I have written the event start of selection. That's why I have not got any error. Now we will simply, simply go for registering the event handler method. So I will write a data, hello underscore object type ref2. In which class we have the event handler method? Class one. This is our class one. I will create a object because our method is a instance method. So we need to create the object. Now, what is the syntax to register the event handler method? Set handler. Now, what is your event handler method? The name of the event handler method is handler. Four. Now, what is your object of the event class? Hello underscore events. During double click functionality also, I put so much stress. You cannot write here hello underscore ALV1 because in your CL underscore SALV underscore table, you do not have a event. There is no such event. Whenever you are calling the method get underscore event, it is giving you the object of a different class. In that class, we have the event and what is the name of the event now? Add underscore function. So here you need to write hello underscore event, not hello underscore ALV1. This is the second point where maximum people will confuse. Now, if I will simply, simply run this particular program. I will put a breakpoint and show you. This is our event handler method. I'll just show you it is triggering or not. I am giving input 1 to 10. I am selecting a record. Whenever I will click on to this button, which event will trigger added underscore function of which class CL SCL underscore event table class CL underscore SALV event table class. Who will handle that event? event handler method and we registered the event handler method we told yes this handler will act as a event handler method 
So if I will select a record and click on to this button, event handler method will trigger. And you can see breakpoint stopped there. You can see breakpoint stopped there. In the next video, we will write the logic into this method to fetch the data from VBAP table. So what is the summary of this particular video? Again, so many important points covered. Firstly, we enabled the back button in the function keys. In our own GUI status, we enabled the back button. Now, the first important point, people are trying to search a user command method. They think whenever you will click on the button, there will be some method of the user command. There is no such method available. You need to call the method get underscore event only. It will give you the object of another class. What is the name of the class? The name of the class is CLSALV event table. In this, we have a event added underscore function. You have to use this event and description itself is saying this event is for your own functions which you are defining. So we simply simply create Firstly, get the object of this particular class. We created the event handler method for this particular event and we registered the event handler method. And we saw in the debugging mode, yes, our event handler method is triggering. In the next video, again, huge amount of learning how to write the logic into this event handler method. So that's it in this video. Thank you.